Hello and welcome to another episode of Career Advice. My name is Rodney Hughes, Mr. 100%. And in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is stop scoreboard watching, okay? Do you find yourself in a situation where you're always getting frustrated as it relates to accomplishing your goals? Nine times out of 10, it's because you are scoreboard watching. Okay, so I don't want you to scoreboard watch, and I'm going to give you some ideas of ways that you can uh, go about accomplishing your goals without all the stress and anxiety that comes along with scoreboard watching. Okay, listen, uh, today's video is being brought to you by Interview Prep University. Um, it is a free virtual training platform, and it's designed to teach you one thing and one thing only. It's designed to teach you how to exponentially improve your job interview skills throughout the job interview process okay i'm going to in this uh, particular training you're going to learn everything you need to learn from point a all the way to point z so that you can improve your odds of having great success uh, when you're going through the job interview process if you'd like to take advantage of this it's 100 percent free there are no strings attached all you have to do is go to www.interviewprepuniversity.com uh, join up for free. It's 100% free. And then you'll have access to all the information, uh, that is provided. Okay. So again, we're talking about stop scoreboard watching. Okay. So here's the thing. A lot of times, you know, and I've been in this position too, in my career before. So a lot of times when it cut, you know, people tell you set big goals and, 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 and go after the big goals. But the problem is, is that they never really tell you how to go about accomplishing the big goals. So what ends up happening is when you decide that, hey, I want to go after a big goal. A lot of times the mistakes that, that I made and the, uh, the mistakes that I see a lot of other people make is they'll set like this huge goal, like this really huge goal. Right. Um, that, that a, a goal, you know, I hear people tell you nowadays, I've heard Grant Cardone and a lot of other people say, uh, you know, uh, Ted Turner and all these people, they say set goals that are so big that you couldn't accomplish it in your lifetime. Okay. And that all sounds good. Okay. But here's the thing. If no one ever taught you how to accomplish a goal period or how to accomplish a big goal, um, then really all you're setting yourself up for is a lot of frustration because People aren't good at accomplishing realistic goals <laughs> a lot of times, much less big goals. So what ends up happening, especially when it comes to big goals, is that if someone decides that they want to actually set a big goal, um, where they mess up is that they scoreboard watch that big goal um, and they just stay laser focused on it. OK, and that is the worst possible way that you could go about accomplishing a big goal. OK, so I, I, I like to use this as an example. Um, one of my favorite coaches, uh, you know, in, in college sports is Nick Saban. Nick Saban, I think it could go down in history. Now, he might be like the best or most successful um, college football coach uh, that has ever, you know, pretty much graced the game. OK, um, there are a lot of great football coaches out there. But this I mean, the, the, the things that this guy has accomplished between LSU and uh, the University of Alabama is amazing, okay? Um, and so, you know, I, I was always kind of curious, like, I know this, I know for the type of consistency that he has had when it came, when, when it's come to coaches, coaching these different teams to winning national championships, um, I know that that's not luck. I know that that's not him just winging it. I know that the, the way he's able to do that is by he has a system that he teaches that he executes and that he teaches his team how to execute in order to get uh that 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 end goal you see what i'm saying and so what i started to realize is i and when i started kind of paying attention to him and then and then i started looking through some of his videos and then i found a video that explained how he's able to get them to accomplish those goals and what he calls it is being where your feet are OK, you got to be where your feet are. OK, and so essentially what he's telling people is that you got to be present. OK, and so, yes, the thing that he drills into his team's mind is that, look, yes, the goal is to to win a national championship. That's a big goal. 
okay? But he said, in order for you to win a national championship, you need to be where your feet are. You need to execute where your feet are. You need to be excellent and great where your feet are, okay? And so he constantly drills this into his um, into uh, the, the, the team's mindset so that every single play, they're focusing on being as successful as humanly possible in the given play that they're about to call, okay? So if the offense is on the field, they call a play, they're not focused on winning the national championship. They're focused on executing and being excellent on that one play. See, because here's what happens. If you're successful on every single play, if you do your best work on every single play, if you execute and do exactly what you need to be doing on every single play and be successful on every single play, it's inevitable that you're going to win the national championship. It's inevitable. So he teaches them, be where your feet are. He doesn't want them scoreboard watching. He doesn't care what, 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 the, what the score is up there, okay? Or he doesn't want his team to care about what the score is up there. Because as long as you're focusing up there, you're not focusing on what you need to be focused on, which is being great right where your feet are. See, here's the thing I can tell you. If you're great right, right where your feet are, all that other stuff takes care of itself. It does. And you could take this mindset of stop scoreboard watching, be where your feet are, and you can apply it to anything that you're doing in your career. Okay? That's how you accomplish big goals. You get you get excellent, you 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 become excellent where your feet are. Okay? And as you continue to be excellent where your feet are, you get closer and closer and closer to accomplishing whatever the big goal is. So again, let me be clear here. I'm not telling you not to set big goals. I want you to set big goals. I want you to do like Ted Turner uh, said and, and, and like Grant Cardone said and, and all these people out here are saying, I want you to set these big, big goals, okay? But the way you accomplish those big goals is you got to stop scoreboard watching. It's good to know where you're trying to go because it gives you direction, Okay, but once you have set the direction, yes, this is the direction I want to go in. Then you need to ask yourself, okay, what are the things that you need to accomplish along the way in order to get there? Set you some checkpoints. And then you need to ask yourself, what do I what can I do today right here, right now where my feet are in order to get me closer to that goal? Right. And then once you have that figured out then it's time to be where your feet are, okay? Stop looking at the scoreboard, okay? Look where your feet are and execute with excellence right where your feet are. And if you do that, success is inevitable. It is inevitable, okay? And I, I experienced this firsthand when I, when, I, when I played football in high school, okay? I knew nothing about football. I knew absolutely nothing about football and I went out there and, uh, I just, I started, you know, I started if, uh, when I went out there, when I tried out for the football team, they put me at four string offensive guard. I was 185 pounds. I had no business being at a, in, a, in an offensive guard in an offensive lineman position. That's a whole nother story. I won't get into it, but to make a long story short, essentially what ended up happening is within my very first year, my very first game, I was a starter and um, I ended up uh, being a captain of, of the very first game that I ever played of football. OK, by the end of that first year, I was first team all county in one of the biggest counties in the Atlanta metro area. OK, first team all county at a, as an offensive guard at 185 pounds, which means I had no business even playing that position. So that's why it's kind of bizarre that I was able to accomplish that. But you know how I was able to accomplish it? I wasn't, listen, I wasn't focused on, uh, uh, you know, the scoreboard. I was focused on being great every play. I was focused on being great every time I stepped out on a field. It didn't matter whether it was practice or whether it was an actual game. I was full tilt, 100% focused on being excellent at what I did. 
and all that stuff ended up coming. Okay. So that's what I want you to do with your career. I want you to be excellent where your feet are. If you're excellent where your feet are, everything else will take care of itself. All right. Listen, I hope you got great value from this video. If you did, I want you to like this video, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time I drop some new content. All right. Listen, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.